In this video, you will learn how to install Isinga to monitor your entire infrastructure. Isinga was originally created as a fork of the Nagios in 2009. Isinga is a secure monitoring system that checks the availability of your network resources, watch hosts, and any applications. It notifies users of outages and generates performance data for reporting. Isinga is scalable and extensible. It can monitor large, complex environments across multiple locations. Now, let's get into it. All commands should be run as root. So we need to change as root user. Then, let's update the package sources list to get the latest list of available packages in the repositories. We will also need to install essential packages. We can now proceed with installing Isinga. We start off by adding the official Isinga package repository. You don't have to worry about copying complicated commands like this. All commands will be in the description below. Run the update again to refresh the repository list. Now that we have the official Isinga repository, we can install Isinga 2 by using the app package manager to get the Isinga 2 package. Isinga requires plugins to check external services. We can install these plugins by installing the monitoring plugin package. The monitoring plugins project provides an extensive set of plugins that can be used with Isinga. Next we set up Isinga API. Almost every Isinga 2 setup requires the Isinga 2 API. It enables cluster communication functionality for highly available and distributed setups. Restart Isinga for these changes to take effect. Next, install the Isinga DB Redis package from Isinga. This package ships the current Redis server version and is pre-configured for the Isinga DB components. Run the following command to enable and start Redis service. Turn on the Isinga DB feature. With this feature enabled, Isinga 2 publishes all of its monitoring data to the Redis server. This includes configuration and its runtime updates via the Isinga 2 API, check results, state changes, downtimes, acknowledgements, notifications, and other events such as flapping. Restart Isinga for these changes to take effect. We now install the Isinga DB daemon after installing Redis server and enabling the Isinga feature. To process the Isinga information and configuration, Isinga will require a database. We will be installing MariaDB for this. We'll now run the MySQL secure script. After securing MariaDB, we will now create a database and database user for Isinga. Log in as the root MySQL user and execute the following commands. This command is to create the database. And this is to create the username and password. And at the same time grant permission to that user. After creating the database, Import the Isinga DB schema using the following command. Isinga DB installs its configuration file to a YAML file. Before running Isinga DB, adjust the database credentials. For this setup, we will just modify the password credentials. Now run the following command to enable and start Isinga DB service. With Isinga 2, Redis, Isinga DB and the database fully set up, it is now time to install Isinga DB Web, which connects to both Redis and the database to display and work with the monitoring data. 
Run the following command to install all the required packages of Isinga Web. Run this command to correct the permissions of the Isinga configuration directory. Now we must generate a token that will be used to configure Isinga via the web setup wizard. Then create a database and a database user prior to starting the web wizard. We need to log into my SQL root user. Then execute the following command to create the database and user. After that, we can now exit. We then configure and enable Apache SSL. Restart Apache as required. Then we will configure Apache to redirect all non-secured HTTP to the secured HTTPS URL. We can do this by modifying the default configuration and enabling rewrite engine and adding redirect rules. Make sure that rewrite module is enabled. Then restart Apache. We need to add another rewrite rule so that when we go to the Apache root URL, it will redirect to the Isinga web directory. Now restart Apache. Finally visit Isinga web in your browser to access the setup wizard and complete the installation. Input the setup token that we generated earlier to proceed with the setup wizard. Click Next. On this step, I recommend enabling the doc module and leave everything default. The setup wizard automatically detects the required packages. In case one of them is missing, please install the package, restart your web server and reload the setup page. This step let us choose on how we want to authenticate when accessing a single web. Let's use database for now. Now configure the Isinga web database to store users and user groups. Get the username and database information that we created earlier. Click on Validate Configuration to make sure that Isinga Web can connect to the database. Once the configuration has been successfully validated, click on Next. We can leave this step at its default value. Enter your desired administrative account and password to access Isinga Web. On this page, we can choose the default and click Next. Now review the settings. If everything is correct, click on Next. Next page is the wizard to set up Isinga DB. Fill out the connection details on this page with the information we created earlier.
Then click on Validate Configuration. Click on Next once the configuration has been successfully validated. For the Redis connection, we can put localhost on the Redis host and click on Validate. If successful, click on Next. For the Isinga API, we can get the API user and password on the API configuration file. Once the configuration has been successfully validated, click on Next. On this page, you have the chance to verify that all configuration is correct. Once you validate that everything is correct, click on Finish. At this point, Isinga Web 2 has been successfully set up. Click on Login to Isinga Web 2 to redirect you to Login page. Input the username and password you just created earlier during the setup wizard. Once logged in, you will be presented with the Isinga dashboard, where you can see the alerts for your infrastructure. In this case, we only have one alert, which is the Isinga server having available updates. Let's have this server updated to clear this alert. We can see that the alert has been cleared now that the server has been updated. On my next video, I will show you how we can use Isinga to monitor a web and database server. So subscribe and hit that notification bell. That's all for now. Drop me your feedback and comments below. If this video helped you in any way, please like share and subscribe. Thank you.